they really rushed to pointing out that there's, you know, one was a clone. Like, man, Beast came up with that information, like, like, real quick. Um, that started drama immediately, like, uh, Scott didn't know what to do. He's like, look, I love you. We have a kid together, but, um, she's the real one. <laughs> and it was just like, whoa. <laughs> and out of nowhere, like, she snaps too because, you know, Sinister, uh, did the voiceover thing through, I, I think it was a radio, um, but kind of snapped her out of it and she became the Goblin Queen and that was amazing. Um, I've seen that that is a character from the comics. I haven't looked it up in the book, but I'm definitely going to, um, her officially becoming Madeline Pryor, like the comics at the end was definitely a cool touch. Like we know that the kid is going to become, uh, Cable. Like, we just know. And that's kind of cool. Like, there could be an interesting family reunion. Because if you remember in the original series, um, they don't say it outright. Um, I don't think Scott learns to the very end. But he gets to meet his father and his crew running around. I forget the name of the little group. But um, there's also another series. I think it's the uh, Evolution or one of the other X-Men animated shows where you get to meet um, Cyclops' brother. And that's pretty cool. So you could end up having a big family get together at some point, especially with how they're putting the focus on um, Cyclops being a lot more of a leader and strategist than he ever was shown in the animated series. Um, especially m way better than they showed in the Fox first uh, series of movies. Um, Sinister, when he came in, that, that was well done. Um, I like the new energetic effects to his hands and his arms. I love the new kind of new aesthetic. It's just, it's not the same as the art style. The way they did it with the newer art style just fits it so much better in the high, uh, like some of the high end graphic designs, very realistic looking design. Yeah, they went that kind of direction with the suit and it just, it worked. Um, I'm very excited to see where this is going because, you know, if you remember the original series, that virus that we see in this has been brought up before. But at the same time, we know that this is what now starts the beginning of the timeline for Cable. So we're probably going to end up seeing Cable again. We know that Sinister is going to come back into the picture. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see where things go from here because now we have the original Jean Grey and we're going to learn at some point when was the last time the real Jean Grey was the one everyone was running around with. I'm very excited to see where this goes and hey, um, if there was something in the episode that y'all appreciated, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and I'll engage and talk back and forth with you. But, you know, till next episode, catch you later.